Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on products I've used up. Um, these are one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube because you get to see a product that someone has used up completely and you see if they they love it or if they don't really like it or if it's going to be repurchased or if it even has been repurchased. So I have a bunch of stuff here. I have it all organized by like hair, skin, makeup. I just have like a bunch of stuff. Like this is just things that I've had almost all year and I've been using them up and some of the stuff I've been loving and other things not so much but I'm just gonna like get started because I know I have a lot a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna start off with the makeup first. Um, I have two concealers. I have two concealers. Um, the first one is the Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. This is in the shade Neutralizer. I actually really like this product. It has like a little sponge tip applicator and you just twist the product. Um, I really like this. Um, I've already repurchased it. I have it right here. Right here. But I got the shade Fair, just for under my eyes. This is really good for under your eyes. It's a good price from the drugstore. Um, yeah, I have no complaints about this. It's really good. It's Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, the next one I have here is the MAC Select Moisture Cover. This was really good, too. Um, I used this thing up completely, and I really like it because it's moisturizing. For under the eyes. <clears throat> um, it wasn't a great color for me. This is NC15. I think it was too light. Um, but I did use it under my eyes um, before foundation. So it was okay. I might repurchase that one. I haven't done so yet. Um, Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Primer. I completely killed this. Like I even took off the little cap thingy that like the stopper there's still some product in there but there's no way I can get it I already repurchased this I'm almost halfway done the one that I repurchased so you know this stuff is really good it's super cheap from from shopper drug mart you can get it I know they sell this at Ulta in the states so if you're not from Canada you can still get this um, it's it's awesome it's awesome Next, I have, this is the Maybelline um, Hydrate and Smooth Normal to Dry Foundation. This is in the shade 130 Buff Beige. Another favorite. I love this. I already repurchased one. I have right here. Love it. Definitely one of my favorite foundations. I don't know what it is. I'm wearing it today. I think it looks amazing on my skin. It hydrates my face. Especially because my skin is so dry. I love it. Another one of my favorites. You guessed it. This is the Dream Smooth Mousse by Maybelline. Kill this. Could totally go in and grab the rest, but it's old. I need to repurchase this. I really want to find this again in my shade because I was going to get this one again, but they didn't have my color. That's why I got the, the Maybelline Fit Me one. But I love that one. Mascara. These I run through a lot. So I don't even have as many to show you. But I do have quite a few of these that I've finished. Um, I love this mascara. I've been using it for three years now. Um, I don't I haven't repurchased it because I'm trying to finish up the one that I have already. Because mascara, as you know, like it's the first, it should be the first to go when it starts to get old. So I have one that I'm working on right now that I want to finish and then I will buy this one again for sure. Two eyeliners. Again, other favorites. These uh, are the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliners. These are completely dried out. Um, I love this eyeliner. I wish it wasn't as pricey as it is, but it's definitely worth it. If you're looking for a really awesome eyeliner, I would not hesitate on this one don't worry about the price it's totally totally worth it and this these lasted me at least 
I'm gonna say like six months using them almost every day so they last they're really good for the price next is um, skin care I have a bunch of moisturizers a toner and an eye cream I'm gonna start off with the eye cream actually you know what I think this is just a moisturizer I'm not even sure if it's for your eyes. Um, this is just a little sample size of the Clinique Moisture Surge. Moisture Surge <laughs> Extended Thirst Relief. This was awesome. I use this under my eyes. I think it's so creamy and so hydrating. Amazing product. I definitely want to look into buying the full size. I think it's just a little bit bigger than this. But this was awesome. Awesome. I have the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. is one of my favorites. I've killed actually three of these bottles. Um, so I keep buying them at Sephora. Um, I've killed, yeah, three of these. But I only have one to show you. <laughs> um, next is the Simple Moisturizer. Um, this is the Restoring Night Cream. Another one of my favorites. I've cleaned this jar out. <laughs> I love this moisturizer for nighttime. It's very thick, very moisturizing, and I haven't been able to find this anywhere again. My Walmart just doesn't stock up at all, like ever. Never find anything that I love at Walmart. So I'm going to have to go searching for that again because I love that moisturizer. Another moisturizer that I love is the Simple Hydrating Light Moisturizer. I, lo I love the Simple products because they don't have any fragrance to them. They're made for sensitive skin, which is what I have. And they're very moisturizing. Like, I have no complaints about this stuff. It lasts really long. Like, the nighttime moisturizer, like, my face, when I wake up, is moisturized still. Like, the moisturizer is still there. Like, it sinks in, but it's just... <sighs> it's heavenly. <laughs> but yeah I love these two products and um, I haven't repurchased this one but I have repurchased this one but I think the one that I repurchased was just the moisturizing one not the hydrating one which I'm not too sure of the difference but it's pretty good next I have the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Facial Moisturizer this was okay wasn't my favorite but it was good for the size and the price it was pretty good um, I'm not gonna be repurchasing this um, just because it didn't really moisturize my skin as much as the simple ones but it did do its job it's not amazing it didn't blow me out of the water but it it did its job so Next, I have the Nivea Aqua Effect Gentle Toner. This is dry to sensitive skin. This is a toner that you put on your face after you wash your face before you put on moisturizer. And I love doing this, this step, because it just hydrates my skin much more than just putting on moisturizer. Um, I haven't repurchased this because I have a couple other ones that I'm trying to finish up. But I think I will because it's a good price and it, it did its job. So, I really like that one. <laughs> Next, I have the Garnier Clean Nourishing Cleansing Oil for dry skin. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is my favorite makeup remover. And I haven't repurchased it because I cannot get around the price. This is like $12, $13. I've even seen that at like $16. Ugh. It makes me angry that it's so expensive, but... I know MAC has one that's even like more expensive so this is definitely a great dupe for the MAC one. Um, but this is a awesome makeup remover. This takes off everything, like everything. And it's made for dry skin so it moisturizes as well. It doesn't leave your skin dry or tight feeling or anything like that. And the awesome thing about this is you can put it all over your face, get all your makeup off and then wipe it off with a wipe or you can wet it and put water on your face and just like you watch all your makeup just come right off oh don't mind these swatches <laughs> you can just watch all your makeup come right off i love it and then you could just rinse it off with water and it's also a cleanser so it leaves your skin makeup free moisturized and smelling good it smells really good 
But the only bad thing I would have to say about this product is the packaging. Because it's an oil, I've noticed that, well, most oils like, get everywhere and they kind of seep through the, the bottle. But this one, honestly, like, I waste product, like, sitting it in this container. So I put it in a different one and I use that on a regular basis when I take off my makeup. So I will definitely be repurching this because it's so worth it. Uh, I just have to get around to it. <laughs> And the next skincare product that I have is the Clean and Clear Morning Morning Burst Facial Cleanser with Bursting Beads. This is a... How do I say it? I have a love-hate relationship with this moisturizer. Sorry, facial wash. Um, I like to use this at night because I've noticed that it really dries out my skin like big time. I love it though because it does clean my skin and it removes any any makeover makeover any makeup left over if um this didn't uh rinse off properly like I can just go ahead with this after and just clean everything off and it it leaves my skin pretty like tight feeling and like everything is gone but I don't like to use this often because it does dry out my skin and it makes me break out just a little bit. Like I get little little bumps and stuff around my nose especially. But I love how it smells. I love how it wakes me up in the morning. I love to use this in the morning especially for the, like, the waking up properties that it gives me. But skin wise and for blemishes and things like it just kills me. So... I do love this product, but I won't be repurchasing it because it's not good for my skin. So hopefully I can find something that's kind of like this, but a little better or more moisturizing for my skin. I have tried all the different ones. I know that there's a blue one, there's a green one, there's a pink one, I think. There's a whole bunch of different ones, but they all pretty much do the same thing for my skin. So it's a shame, but what can you do? Now moving on to my last four products, last four, last five products, they're all hair care products. Um, I lost the top of this, I don't know what happened to it. This is the Down Under Natural um, Conditioner. This is awesome, as you can see it's a big bottle. It was only $3, I don't know if it was on sale or if that's regular price at Walmart, but this was actually really good. I have the matching shampoo that I didn't like. Um, the shampoo didn't do anything for my hair. Um, it barely cleaned it and if anything I had to use a lot of it to get any sort of result. But the conditioner is amazing. Like it really hydrated my hair. I don't I haven't done anything to my hair except just toss it up into a ponytail. But um, it really did a really good job at hydrating my hair. I use it from my ears down, usually like on my ends, because um, if I put conditioner up here, it's just it's a hot mess. So this was a really good product. I don't know, like I said, if the price is still right. Um, I think so. Either way, this is a really big bottle. This is a liter. And this took me a while to finish between my sister and my mom. <clears throat> we use this a lot. So that was awesome. Um, next is the Tresemme Thermal Creations uh, Heat Protectant Spray. This is raved about on YouTube. Everybody talks about this. I really like this for the... Um, <laughs> I really like putting this in my hair before I curl or straighten or anything. I don't really blow dry my hair normally, but if I was to ever blow dry my hair, I would use this as well. It smells really good. Um, and yeah, it sprays pretty good. There's nothing in here, so I can't even show you how it sprays. But, whoop. but yeah, it smells really nice, and I like it. Price is right, too. And yes, I have repurchased that one. Next, I have the Dove Refreshing Care Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff. This smells so good. I can't even tell you what it smells like. Oh, it just it just smells amazing. I love it. 
Oh. If their hairspray smelled like the dry shampoo, I would be obsessed with this. I would be obsessed with the hairspray too, but I don't like how the hair uh, how the hairspray smells. So I don't even buy that. But this one, I've already repurchased it four or five times. And this is the only bottle I have to show you. Um, two more products. This is the Fructus Pure Clean for normal hair. It's a fortifying shampoo. I really like this for days when my hair just feels kind of limp and dead. Um, it says no silicone, no parabens, or dyes. This is a clear um, shampoo. I really like this. It smells good and it leaves my hair feeling nice and fresh. So, and yes, I've repurchased that one already twice. And the last miscellaneous product I have is the Pure Hell. <laughs> um, this is the Advanced Hand, Hand Sanitizer, the Refreshing Aloe Gel. This is my favorite stuff. I love hand sanitizer. I have a bunch of them everywhere. See, I have this little one here. This is Apricot Blossom. I have a bunch of them, like, everywhere. I love hand sanitizer. I think it's amazing. It's quick. It's fast. It does what I need it to do. And I refill everything. So I had to get the refill one. And, yeah. So <laughs> I already killed that. So, yeah. Those are all my products. And that's all the stuff that I've been loving and things that I've used up. So, if there's anything that you would like to recommend to me, comment down below and we'll chat about it. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!